Josh had always been a lively and spirited child, yet his life changed dramatically when he became inexplicably sick, leaving medical experts puzzled about the diagnosis. His parents, Peter and Naya, tried every possible medical and alternative remedy to heal their son, but to no avail, as they grappled with the painful possibility of losing Josh, they endeavored to ensure his final days were as peaceful as possible. In the loving presence of his family and beloved dog, Snickers, Josh's story is a touching narrative characterized by numerous hospital visits that altered his previously joyful life. He went from being completely healthy to critically ill in a very short time, leaving physicians perplexed by his enigmatic ailment. Over time, Josh's condition became the focal point of his family's world, dominating their time and energy. Their constant support system during these difficult times included the hospital staff and their faithful dog, Snickers, who remained their sole comfort. Despite undergoing every conceivable treatment and medication, along with numerous alternative therapies, their efforts were fruitless, the family was left desperate for answers, their options becoming increasingly limited. However, throughout this ordeal, their connection with their dog Snickers continued to be a pillar of support and solace. Peter and Naya had welcomed Snickers into their lives as a puppy well before Josh was born. And their affection for him deepened over the years. Snickers had become a cherished member of their household, sharing in both their joys and their grief. His bond with Josh was especially profound. The dog showed visible signs of distress when Josh was away in the hospital, often lying in bed anxiously awaiting his return. Having been through many highs and lows with the family, it was difficult to envision life without him. Despite his increasing age and deteriorating health, Snickers seemed to regain energy whenever Josh was nearby. Underscoring their unbreakable bond, Josh's parents did everything within their power to keep Snickers healthy and joyful. Acknowledging the comfort he provided their son, they made sure he received enough exercise and ate the right foods. But age was taking its toll on the dog, they realized the day might soon come when they would have to part with him. Although they hoped it wasn't imminent, when Josh was home from the hospital, he and Snickers treasured their time together, aware that it could be fleeting. Josh would take Snickers for long walks, making the most of their moments together. Josh and Snickers shared a bond filled with playful walks, where they would engage in games of fetch and tug of war. These activities were full of energy as Snickers ran about exuberantly, reveling in the joy of spending time with his best friend. These simple pleasures provided temporary yet deep comfort to the family, serving as a reminder of the strength found in love and companionship during life's most challenging times. Josh treasured every second spent with Snickers, his faithful friend. They often went to the local park, a place where Snickers could play and meet other dogs. These visits were a source of great happiness for them both, and they forged lasting memories. However, Josh's health was fragile. After years of battling an undiagnosed illness, he was weakened, and each hospital stay meant a long time away from home. In pursuit of the finest medical care, Josh's family consulted with specialists nationwide, frequently leaving their residence empty. Snickers joined them when possible, but as he got older, he was increasingly left behind. Each farewell was agonizing for Josh, as he contemplated the dwindling time he might have left with Snickers. As medical costs escalated, the financial burden on the family grew. Despite Peter's vigorous efforts to generate extra funds, the escalating expenses became unbearable. The family reached a pivotal point. They had to decide between continuing costly treatments, jeopardizing their home and financial stability or ensuring Josh's remaining time was as comfortable as possible. After thorough discussions, it was evident to the experts that all options had been explored. Confronted with this stark reality, the family was engulfed by a deep sense of despair. They resolved that focusing on Josh's quality of life in his final days was essential. They chose not to trouble Josh with the grim financial details, instead concentrating on creating joyful experiences for him. Upon returning home, Josh was overjoyed to see Snickers again, which greatly lifted his spirits. Yet, it soon became clear that both Josh and Snickers were in decline. With Snickers now showing signs of fatigue and worsening health, 
Peter sought advice from a veterinarian. The vet suggested a three-week treatment plan for Snickers. Understanding the impact this would have on Josh, Peter decided to postpone Snickers' treatment for a day, allowing father and son one more day of joy together before the next ordeal. Josh returned home and delivered the distressing news to his son. Josh Jr., the thought of being apart from Snickers for an extended time deeply upset the boy. However, he understood the necessity, essential for Snickers' recuperation. The activities also provided some solace to him. Despite experiencing a range of emotions, Josh Jr. resolved to savor every remaining moment with Snickers. They engaged in playful activities all evening and indulged in their favorite treats. Marking the night as both delightful and poignant, the next day, both Josh Jr. and Snickers experienced a sudden onset of illness, necessitating a visit to the vet. Parting with Snickers was incredibly difficult for Josh Jr., as the dog had been his loyal companion for many years. The dog also seemed hesitant to leave, adding to the emotional intensity of their goodbye. Although Josh Jr. attempted to remain composed, he found it nearly impossible to embrace his beloved pet, trusting that Snickers would be well cared for and hoping for a quick reunion. As they observed the situation, Josh Jr.'s parents, Peter and Naya, were brought to tears by the touching scene and came together in a comforting embrace. Recognizing the beginning of a tough new chapter in their lives, suddenly, Josh Jr.'s condition worsened dramatically. He became lethargic, developed a high fever, and struggled to breathe in the days that followed his last interaction with Snickers. However, Josh Jr.'s health began to recover. His fever diminished, and his breathing became more comfortable. This rapid recovery puzzled everyone. Was it a miraculous occurrence or simply fortuitous? Eager to determine the cause of their son's unexpected improvement, his parents carefully examined all recent changes in his life, diet, and medications. Naya was convinced that the emotional bond and the poignant embrace shared between Josh Jr. and Snickers were crucial, deeming it miraculous. Meanwhile, Peter sought a more scientific explanation and discussed the entire episode with their doctor. After some deliberation, the doctor suspected that the answer might have been overlooked initially. Curious, the doctor consulted with other experts for additional insights and alternative perspectives. Eventually, he developed a hypothesis that seemed to account for the sudden improvement in Josh Jr.'s health. To verify his theory, he asked for Josh Jr., to be brought back to the clinic for further evaluation, aiming to confirm his suspicions and provide a definitive answer to the perplexing situation. Josh was then hospitalized for further observation. Josh underwent a series of critical examinations during which he deeply missed his cherished dog. Wishing the medical tests wouldn't last too long, he was keen to get back home, particularly because Snickers, his dog, was also expected to return from the vet soon. After thorough investigations, the medical professionals were able to determine the root cause of Josh's puzzling condition. To everyone's surprise, it turned out that Josh had developed a severe allergic reaction to a new anti-flea spray used on Snickers. The spray brand had been changed just before the onset of Josh's symptoms. But no one had initially linked this change to his worsening health. Once identified, the doctors quickly began the correct treatment. Josh's health started to improve gradually, and before long, he was able to go back home. His recovery steadily progressed each day. At the same time, Snickers had fully recovered and returned to his energetic self. The reunion of Josh and Snickers was a heartwarming occasion, deeply valued by the whole family. It signified the conclusion of a tough phase, and they were all prepared to move forward. Having surmounted this unforeseen obstacle, what do you think of today's story? It's remarkable how a small alteration, such as switching brands, can have substantial impacts. Tell us in the comments section. We'd like to hear your thoughts. Next, there is another story. Let's continue to see it. When this melancholic dog was found meandering aimlessly through the streets, she seemed cautious around people. Her behavior was neither aggressive nor confrontational. Instead, she radiated a deep sadness and appeared resolved to avoid forming bonds with anyone at the shelter where she was brought. However, her disposition transformed remarkably the day she encountered a particular person. Her response to this individual was so moving, 
it could easily bring tears of joy to your eyes, so it might be wise to have tissues at hand. This story serves as a touching testament to the power of lasting love and the significance of never losing hope in Tennessee. A family welcomed a new puppy into their home and immediately adored him, they affectionately called him Runt because he was the smallest of his siblings, from the beginning, they were certain that Runt wouldn't have to compete for his meals like many other Runts, the family, residing on a spacious farm, aimed to provide him with all he could ever need, initially, they kept him nearby as he was still a young dog learning his limits, his safety was their priority. Runt experienced a joyful life as he grew, by the time he was three, the family trusted his familiarity with his environment and believed he would not wander too far, they considered him safe, sadly, this belief proved to be a tragic mistake, one that would cost them deeply and shatter their hearts, one evening, when they called Runt for dinner, he did not show up, which was uncharacteristic since he never missed a meal, the family immediately launched a search. But he was nowhere to be found on their property, they checked every conceivable hiding spot, but all efforts were in vain, Run had somehow strayed from the farm and might now be lost. Days of searching turned into weeks, weeks into months, and eventually, years passed, reducing their hope of ever reuniting with their beloved dog, unknown to them. Run had traveled a significant distance, about 10 miles, 16 kilometers, away, and had started a new life on the streets in a neighborhood surrounded by businesses. Local compassionate strangers became familiar with seeing him and kept him fed though he gratefully accepted food without engaging in further interaction or displays of affection, Runt became a lone figure, never aggressive, avoiding close human contact but accepted in the community. Everyone recognized him and did not view him as a threat, the persistent nuisance of the neighborhood wasn't a nuisance at all, it simply ensured that he had a regular supply of food and water. When the pandemic hit, the usual hustle and bustle of the area decreased significantly as more people began working from home, altering the neighborhood's dynamic. This change profoundly affected Runt's circumstances but also paved the way for an uplifting development. Highlighting the strong bonds that can form even without regular interactions, in this tranquil neighborhood, where it seemed unlikely anyone would be available to tend to his needs, Runt, a stray dog, had been lucky enough to receive daily sustenance and care from kind-hearted locals for more than two years. Nevertheless, concerns about his welfare grew, leading several community members to seek help from the city authorities, responding to these concerns. City officials managed to find Runt and took him to the Washington County Johnson City Animal Shelter. Upon his arrival at the shelter, Runt was affectionately given the new name, Roscoe. He entered a caring environment where he enjoyed a warm bed, plenty of food and water, and even occasional treats, which he accepted politely. Despite these comforts, Roscoe remained reserved. When shelter staff tried to build a rapport, he would retreat, indicating his unease with close interactions. Such behavior is common among stray dogs who are thrust into new surroundings. These animals often need time to adapt to new settings and the intentions of the people around them, although many strays have histories of adverse interactions with humans that contribute to their apprehension. Roscoe seemed different, he wasn't visibly scared, instead, he appeared uninterested in forming connections. According to Tammy Davis, the director of the shelter, Roscoe maintained a sense of detachment. He didn't seek solace nor did he relish being petted, his presence was more about mere existence rather than enjoyment or active participation in life. Despite various attempts by the shelter staff to engage him, offering toys, treats, and playtime, Roscoe showed no signs of joy or enthusiasm, his tail never wagged, and his passive demeanor remained consistent. After six months, his aloof behavior continued, making it clear that while he might not become the loving companion many desire in a pet, he showed no aggression or behavioral problems that would make him unadoptable, acknowledging that Roscoe's lack of typical canine enthusiasm did not lessen his deservingness of a loving home. The shelter continued its commitment to find him a suitable family. They extensively utilized their social media platforms to promote Roscoe and other dogs in need of adoption, in hopes of finding potential adopters open to welcoming a dog that may not become their closest companion but still deserved a chance at a happy life. The shelter remained committed to caring for all their animals, regardless of their level of sociability. This commitment reflected their belief in the inherent worth and potential of each animal they housed. With the COVID-19 pandemic preventing visits to the shelter, the staff opted for a unique method to secure a permanent home for Roscoe. A dog who had been under their care for six months, 
they decided to create a brutally honest social media post about him, highlighting that he wasn't the affectionate type many might be seeking. Their aim was to manage expectations to prevent potential adopters from feeling let down and returning him. The post outlined Roscoe's demeanor. He would accept treats and interact courteously but would soon withdraw, showing no desire to form close bonds. It was suspected that Roscoe had spent much of his life as a stray, which could account for his distant behavior. The post ended with a warning that Roscoe was not ideal for anyone in search of a cuddle companion. The staff waited anxiously for responses, hoping that the right individual would read Roscoe's story and provide him with the nurturing, loving home he required, although Roscoe did not exhibit typical signs of joy. Their hope was to at least place him in a setting where he could feel safe and tranquil. Among the various inquiries, one was particularly notable. A woman named Tammy was contacted by someone who suggested that Roscoe might actually be their dog. Runt, who had disappeared three years ago, initially doubtful, Tammy mused over the timeline, if Runt had been missing for three of his estimated six years of life, could this person be certain that Roscoe was indeed their lost animal? The individual contacting Tammy sent several pictures of Runt, pointing out distinctive markings on his coat. When these were compared to Roscoe's markings, the similarity was undeniable. It became increasingly probable that Roscoe and Runt were the same dog. Even if this were a match, the shelter staff pondered whether it would affect Roscoe's demeanor. His life up to that point had not been filled with joy, and they wondered if a reunion might change his reserved nature. Nevertheless, the chance to reunite him with his original owner offered a ray of hope that perhaps Roscoe could indeed find joy eventually. The potential impact of the reunion lingered in their thoughts, offering a hopeful outlook for Roscoe's future. The shelter's genuine representation of Roscoe on social media had paved the way for a potentially uplifting outcome. Tammy, knowing that Roscoe's original owners had been found, set up a reunion at the shelter to see if it would go as everyone hoped. On the day, the sense of expectation was tangible. As the owner walked in, the gates to Roscoe's enclosure swung open. Initially, Roscoe glanced up hesitantly, his expression one of bewilderment, but moments later, his face lit up with recognition. The change was astonishing, his tail whipped back and forth excitedly, a happy grin spread across his face, and he seemed to even cry tears of joy. This was a marked change from the quiet, reserved dog the shelter staff had become accustomed to. It was clear that Roscoe had recognized his family, the emotions vividly displayed on his face as he had eagerly awaited this moment of reunion, with the joyful reunion now complete. Roscoe could return to being the cheerful dog he had been. With his family now fully committed to ensuring he never got lost again, this moving tale acts as a powerful reminder of the lasting connection between pets and their owners, and the critical importance of maintaining hope. Do you have any thoughts after hearing the above two stories? We'd like to hear your thoughts. Tell us in the comments section. That's all for today's story. Please subscribe and give a thumbs up. See you next time.